Panasonic and Intel are joining forces to create a new handheld computer which is making life easier at the hospitals. It may reduce the potential for human error and may eliminate the need for some paperwork. It's this handheld device that could help improve productivity in Australia's hospitals. Panasonic's mobile clinical assistant and its makers call it the future of healthcare. From Panasonic's point of view, the, uh, the mobile requirement of a, of a hospital and the busy environment that you have in, a, in healthcare is quite, quite critical. It's a mission critical environment. Up until now, doctors performing their rounds have had to walk up to 10 kilometres a day crisscrossing between patients' beds and the central PC system. But the mobile assistant cuts out the middleman and theoretically allows doctors more time to spend with patients. The older technologies we use in hospitals, the old PCs, took the doctors and the nurses away from the patient. This technology actually allows the clinician to have access to that information at the bedside where the patient is. There's a saying in the health industry, and that's that paper kills. Whether it's prescribing medications or diagnosis, accuracy is essential. The mobile assistant features a barcode reader that first recognises the person operating the device to maintain confidentiality. Then the nurse swipes a patient's wristband and makes sure the medication is also correct. There's a built-in camera to photograph the patient's injury. All that information is sent back to a central database and can be accessed by anyone who needs it anywhere in the hospital. The patient can even monitor their charts on TV screens above the bed. But if you've ever used a computer at work, you know how inefficient it can be when it breaks down. So if the network stops working, the mobile device switches to its own memory chip. By using a device which actually has a processor built in, so it's not just a dump terminal, this, this is a, a full-fledged PC, you can actually continue to do some of your functions. Designing the device was also incredibly important. Hospitals are fast-paced environments, and so the device had to have a handle, it had to be light, but also a durable design. And most of all, it had to have as few buttons as possible, because spaces between keyboard letters, for example, are great places for germs and other hospital nasties to hide. And of course, reducing germs is great for everyone. But the critical thing really for us was to make sure that that device fit into the healthcare clinician's workflow. So we actually spent quite a long time working with the healthcare, talking to practitioners, talking to other industry stakeholders to make sure that uh, whatever device we did come out had the features and requirements that they needed in that device. The mobile assistant tells the operator when it needs to be cleaned, but it's all about portability giving everyone the right information. The device relies heavily on Wi-Fi hotspots throughout the hospital. Infrastructure is critical, so we always talk about you know, the three parts of the solution. It's the wireless network, the right device and the right application. You need those three things together to, to get the full solution. 100 nurses helped Panasonic and Intel to develop the device and it was no easy task. It's been very interesting from Panasonic's point of view. One of the key things about the Toughbook and Panasonic in general is that we uh, take a lot of uh, input from users and really try and listen to our customers and listen to users so that we come out with products that really suit their, their way of working and suit their requirements. And the future of medicine has come a little closer to reality.